recording going to the cloud. Great, we do. So uh, it is 7-11, July the 11th. How about that? July the 11th, 2020. And here we are. Um, I love this. It says, I know I'm on the right path because things stop being easy. Uh, so it's, um, you are on the right path. So let me say something before we get started. For all of those that don't know me, uh, your luck has just run out. So, um, you know, what I've, um, uh, the, the, one, the people that do know me know that I'm kind of a no-nonsense, uh, uh, no BS, uh, tell it like it is, not a lot of uh, pulling any punches. Um, I'm not politically correct 99% um, of the time, so I often offend people, uh, but, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, I try to give 100% of, you know, my knowledge uh, of the past 30 plus years in this industry and 16 years prior to that in business. So, you know, I was just calculating yesterday. I said, shit, I've been in business almost for 50 years. And I said, you know, I don't know how I'm, how I did that when I'm only 53. So, um, so I started early, right? So, um, you know, so I, I'm going to take you through some things and, um, you know, I'm going to uh, just tell it like it is, you know, like an email that I sent out yesterday, kind of inviting everybody to this event, uh, was that I can't force you to be successful, right? I can't force you to be successful. I can't force you to do what needs to be done on a daily basis. I discovered that, you know, the, um, that this is a volunteer army, right? that, um, you know, some people didn't volunteer for this. You know, they didn't volunteer to get up on Saturday morning and, and go to a training. They didn't volunteer to contact all their friends. And so, you know, they get what they get out of the business, which is usually nothing. And then they blame people like me uh, for persuading them to do something that they didn't want to do. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, I and I'm going to tell you about this book, but you know, um, let's let's get right on with it. I could stay and, and talk about that subject uh, for a long, long time. So, um, the art form of the business: wealthy people build networks; average people simply look for work. This is more than a slogan. This is more than a phrase. This is more than a few words strung together. Um, you know, wealthy people build networks for a reason, because they generate wealth, right? They generate wealth. They generate residual income. Average people don't know, you know, that this is building a network. And, and it's not only in network marketing. I mean, politicians do it. Companies do it. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. You know, I focus on you know, kind of the network marketing um, phraseology of building a large network. Um, but, you know, a lot of other uh, celebrities do it. And then just, you know, uh, influencers do it. I mean, now with this whole Instagram thing, uh, you know, we see people with, you know, influencing, right? Influencers. And uh, the influencers are usually a lot better looking than I am. And uh, we're a ho whole lot less clothes than I do, but I could strip down, you know, and get comfortable. But, uh, you know, they, they influence a lot of people and, and rightfully so. Um, but, you know, it's, it is all about um, building a network. Words are powerful and they, they depict certain images. The other day I started using um, a word or a phrase to depict Valentis, the greatest opportunity on the planet, right? The world's best opportunity, whatever. You know, Don LaPree, uh, an old friend of mine from Arizona who's since passed away, um, you know, came out with uh, a product, the, the world's best vitamin. And I said, Don, 
you know, how did you name this? He said, well, I just figured it was the world's best. So I called it the world's best vitamin. You know, and nobody really, you know, uh, contested that, you know, so he just ran with it. So, you know, I'm saying that Valentis, the world's best opportunity, the world's best home-based business, whatever, you know, it just, again, sets that tone and it sets an image in a person's mind that, huh, this must be pretty good if it's the world's best, right? So it could be the world's best anything. Uh, we're going to talk about a growth engine today. We're going to talk about systems create duplication. And um, you're going to hear me talking a lot about that. We're going to talk about how you can automate your success and, you know, what is the place of most potential? Where, where do you spend your time um, and how you can get measurable, predictable, measurable results? Uh, we're going to talk about a success machine. We're going to talk about, you know, success driven versus talent driven. And um, we're going to always talk about, uh, about how and that the fact that it does take a lot of courage to do this. The, the hardest thing in the world is to become an entrepreneur. Uh, people think that it's easy. It's not easy. You know, if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. So uh, it's one of the most difficult things. And, and why is that? I mean, I, I ask myself that question all the, because there's no accountability, right? There's no accountability when you're an entrepreneur, you either do it or you don't do it. Nobody is there to prod you along, except perhaps your wife or your spouse or, or you know, somebody else. Uh, but not, you know, not on a, you know, when you're, when you're working for somebody, they prod you along, right? They put a boot up your behind if you don't do things the right way. They fire your butt, right? Here, you know, you can't fire anybody, you know, they just kind of hang around and, you know, some people finally get it, uh, but there's no accountability. And I think that's the biggest problem uh, in this industry is no accountability. What do leaders do? They lead by example, right? They, when they bring somebody into the business, and we've talked about this, and I'm going to talk about it a lot, is having that why experience with that brand new people? Why are you doing this? I was on the phone with Del Roby yesterday and she put me on the phone with uh, somebody she works with and, and I asked her that question. I said, uh, you know, if you don't mind me asking, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, I like to use that and get them interacting with me. And she, and she said, well, I've, I've joined a couple of network marketing companies, but I, I have to tell you that I'm, you know, I didn't do very well because I'm not really good at selling anything. And I says, oh, great, great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear because guess what? You don't have to sell anything, right? You don't have to sell anything. She says, oh my gosh, you know, I don't have to sell anything? She said, why is that? I said, because we don't sell nothing. We don't sell anything. We don't sell products. She said, well, what do you do then? We build a network. I said, do you know any people? She said, oh, yeah. She said, I know people all over the world. And I said, can you call them up and ask them if they would like to learn how to make money from home? She said, oh, yeah, I could do that. I said, that's all we do. That's all we do. Don't want you selling nothing to nobody. Now, if they happen to ask you to sell it to them, if they want to buy something, then send them to your website, let them buy something, right? But I said, we don't spend our days going out and selling anything. She said, whew, boy, that took a load off, right? That took a load off. So, you know, that's why, you know, a lot of people don't understand what network marketing is all about. So, um, you know, we just have to reemphasize that and emphasize it over and over and over again. Um, when a new person comes into the business, you've got to make those introductions. You've got to, got to, got to. I don't know how to, how to make it any stronger than that, except that to tell you that you got to, right? You've got to introduce that brand new person to the, to the, the team of people that you work with 
to make them feel more comfortable. You know, they're in a, a foreign entity. I mean, they just did something that is, you know, they've never done before probably. And so we need to make them feel as comfortable as possible. But you got to get to that why. Why is it you are doing this? Why, you know, what kind of money do you want to make? What, you know, what is it about this? I ask people all the time, why, you know, did you decide on doing what you did? You know, why has this, you know, all of a sudden um, increased your interest? And, you know, you got to get to that, you got to get to that why. Um, the next steps is, of course, getting plugged in. You know, those people that don't get plugged in soon fade away. I mean, they just fade away um, sooner than later, quite frankly. Uh, they've got to get plugged in. They've got to be part of everything. Um, we're going to talk a lot about commitment in, in just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to talk about a loyalty purchase as well. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about the one a month plan. You know, when you start talking about that, uh, I want you guys to be as familiar with that plan as I am. And because it just makes sense, right? It just makes sense if they, because people have this misconception that um, uh, you've got to sponsor, you know, a boatload of people when in reality, all you really have to sponsor is one good one a month, but do it month in and month out. Consistency, consistency, consistency. I just finished a book that I'm going to tell you about called Consistency is the New Currency. It says, forget crypto. The fortune is in consistency. I love this uh, little phrase that he put in the foreword of the book. He said, um, uh, and Jim Packard is the guy that sent me this book. And I felt bad that I didn't, you know, that he sent it to me. He spent his money and he wrote the book just for me. Um, but, um, you know, it says consistency, um, unlocks, oh, here it is. Shit, I, you know, when you, when you want something, you usually turn, you usually turn right to it. Here it is. Consistency is a skill that unleashes all of the others, right? It is the key to creating the business and lifestyle that people dream of. And this is applicable to any reader in any walk of life. Um, so I've started to talking to Jim um, and I, I told him how much I appreciated his book and how uh, it was a, a great read. So we're going to talk about that. Um, a few of the other characteristics, but like Jim said, unless you have consistency, unless you're willing to do something consistently month in and month out, week in and week out, year in and year out, then having all the rest of these things really doesn't matter. But you need to build on all of these things. And, you know, belief. Um, I believe in network marketing. You know, it's hard for me, uh, for anybody to say, well, you know, it doesn't work. Well, I'm telling you <laughs> that I'm living proof that it does work. And I know lots of other people that it has worked for. The one big thing in network marketing is that it doesn't work for the people that don't work, right? That's like a, an aha moment, right? You've got to put in effort. It's one of those things that you have to, again, consistent effort over time. Um, you have to have a burning desire. I mean, I always had a burning desire. I always wanted to make more money than what I was making. I always wanted to drive a better car than I was driving. I always wanted to live in a better house than I was living in. I always had all these desires and, uh, that was my motivation. That was the, what drove me uh, to doing and, and working like a maniac. Uh, and that's what I do. I mean, I have just trained myself now over the past 50 years that, uh, and my wife goes, can't you just sit still for a little bit? I said, no, no, I, you know, I've got to get something done. I've got to get, you know, something must, you know, 
have to be done. It either has to be done in the business or it has to be, something has to be done. And so I'm always, you know, working and, and getting things done. Um, and a lot of people are just the opposite. Um, that commitment, um, we're going to talk about that here in a second. Uh, discipline, you know, you know, goes to say, I mean, you got to have the discipline to be able to do certain things. I, I, um, I tweeted something out the other day to somebody. I said, you know, I said, um, the one thing that creates discipline is a little stretch in the military, right? I said, if we were to bring back the draft um, and people went from high school to two or three or four years of military, we wouldn't have a lot of the challenges that we have today because they, people would have a different perspective uh, on things because those guys have a way of putting the boot in you. Uh, and, um, you know, and you start to uh, uh, appreciate that. Uh, and you, you start to live your life like that uh, well after that's over. Consistency, and you know, that's for some reason I put that last, right? And because it is, uh, uh, let, me, let me show you what consistency does. I saw this the other day and I, I had to grab a hold of it and put it into a, into a slide because um, it, it, just, it just made all the sense. Consistency is, is the fortune is in the consistency, right? We say the fortune's in the follow-up, the fortune, fortune is actually in the consistency. And here's what happens, you know, I use my, my friend Jeff. Um, Jeff and I both started in the company um, that I started in in 1987, and he's still there, right? He is still, he has withstood all of the challenges over the years, the ups and downs, and I mean, you know, one of the, one of the challenges, I mean, can you imagine this for a second? We just, the company just spent I don't know how many millions um, putting together a whole program uh, with um, with OJ, right? I mean, millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars promoting OJ Simpson. And that was right before um, that little mishap took place. And we were launching that product uh, right when that mishap took place. And everybody goes, oh my gosh, now what do we do? Um, you know, there were so many people that quit. Um, but, you know, he hung, he hung tough. And for the most part, a lot of people do this. They are attracted to the next shiny object. And then that doesn't work. They're attracted to the next shiny object. And then they recalibrate and are attracted to the next shiny object, whatever that shiny object happens to be, whether it's a cryptocurrency, a new compensation plan, another product, uh, and on. You can just name, there's a, a million different shiny objects out there. But those people that stay consistent, right, that stay consistent, you know, go through that curve, but they continue to add to their network. Uh, my friend Jeff has now made over $125 million uh, with that company that he's still with. He still makes his four to 500,000 a month. And um, he has long since been retired uh, and uh, owns uh, a lot of Sarasota, Florida. Uh, let me just put it that way. So, um, you know, he just stayed consistent. I, on the other hand, went from, you know, one shiny object to the next shiny object to the next shiny object, and I see the errors of my ways. John Horenza, uh, for, the, for the most part, was consistent in four companies. Uh, now, I made money along the way. Yes, yeah, $16 million is not bad. John's made 25, but it's a far cry from 125 million. So, um, 
Consistency is a skill that unleashes all of the others. The learnable superpower with, uh, is consistency. Anything is possible. Without it, nothing changes. So uh, let's just keep that in mind as we kind of move forward to consistency. You guys have seen this before. Um, you know, it all starts with commitment, right? Without commitment, you're never going to start. Without discipline and consistency, you will never finish the race. So what are we asking people to do? We're not asking them to spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 and, you know, finance it and interest rate. We're asking them for, and you can't be bashful about this. You know, we're asking them to start a business that will give them tax benefits way in excess of the $600 that they're spending way in excess. My CPA says the difference between having a business and not having a business and being a, you know, a W-2 employee is about $5,000 is the difference. I mean, there are so many things that are deductible uh, that, you know, you can spend pre-tax dollars on that you can't do if you don't have a business. You're filing, filing a short form, right? Yeah, it's simple to get your taxes done, but you're missing out on awful lot of things. I mean, look, my health insurance is paid by the company. My car is paid by the company. My trips are paid by the company. I mean, everything is paid by the company and um, my company, the company that we started, you know, 33 years ago. Uh, so, so many things are paid for uh, pre-tax dollars, right? And you've got to make that commitment, folks, you know, and don't be embarrassed to say to somebody, you know, if you can't commit to doing certain things for, you know, at least 12 months, don't even bother starting because that's the takeaway. Right, that's the takeaway because number one, I don't want you to waste your time. I don't want to want you to waste their time, their money, and knowing that you know it. They're only here for lunchtime, right? They're only here for a week or a month. You know, most people are are join a company for ninety days, and when it, they don't see success in ninety days, they quit. So you know, we got to get past the ninety days. Uh, you guys have all seen the, the one a month pre presentation. You don't start making money, any money, until six months, right? So you know what happens if they quit in 90 days. They're going to blame you. They're going to blame me. They're going to put bad things out on the internet. Um, and, you know, then that's when, you know, all the, the stuff starts. So you just alleviate that from your life. If you can't commit, don't start. You got to put in some time and effort. I tell people right up front that, you know, I want you on the trainings. You know, if I'm going to be here live, you know, giving everything I've got, then I want other people to do it. Yes, we record it. And I understand that there's circumstances and, uh, you know, there are funerals to attend. There are weddings to attend. There are you know, things that happen in a person's life, life goes on. And that's why we record these things. But for the most part, I would think that there would be more than 28 people here, right? I know that if somebody paid 10 grand or 20 grand or 50 grand, they would have a front row seat. Uh, that's how I was. See, I put enough money in my first initial experience in network marketing uh, I put 35 grand in, right? I bought $35,000 worth of water filters. And, um, you know, it wasn't really something that I was looking forward to. I, I certainly wasn't looking forward to telling my wife about it. Uh, so what I wanted to do was get back that 35 grand as quickly as possible. And hopefully she would never know that it was missing, uh, which I did. Uh, so, so. And again, there's just certain things that you've got to explain to people why we create a uh, hundred BV uh, loyalty purchase. Look, there's lots of different ways we, uh, well, not lots, there's two different ways that we get business volume in our dual team. We get business volume from adding new people 
you know, and if they come in with a business builder pack, there's only a hundred business volume that is put into the dual team. On the other hand, we get a hundred business volume from as little as two products purchased monthly, right? So that is the big part of the business. That is the, the part of the business as far as I'm concerned. And you know, what everybody, and I'm gonna give you some action steps here in a little bit, uh, what I want everybody to do for the rest of this month, um, creating an ad budget. Now, of course, we just got the co-op up and running. And I spoke with Jeff Finn yesterday. Jeff and I did a, um, a Zoom with uh, one of the, the people in uh, the organization that we're going to create a, uh, a funnel for. Um, uh, so I'll tell you more about that in a second. But, um, you know, Jeff was talking about we've, you know, we're, we're over... You know, and again, they're spending uh, just, they're very good stewards of our money, of collectively our money, right? The people that purchased into the co-op. Um, and so they were telling me, Jeff was telling me how many pixels, you know, pixel is a person who hit our website and spent more than a minute. And uh, so we had thousands and thousands. In fact, it was, uh, and so, uh, and the person we were talking to actually understood what a pixel was. Um, and, uh, and he said, we're at about 22 leads, pre-enrollments a day. So if you think about that for a second, if we have 150 people in the co-op and we're getting 22 leads a day, and he said, next week, we'll turn it up to 30. We'll spend a little bit more money. We'll keep tweaking. We'll keep uh, optimizing. And then he said, we'll turn it up to 40. And he said, then we'll turn it up to 50. And so it's, you know, I you know, commend and applaud the fact that they just don't want to throw all of our money at something and hope that it works. You know, that they're really, you know, good stewards and uh, measuring and measuring and measuring and measuring. So what I want you guys to do is for all of you that have, uh, are in the co-op that have uh, received leads next Tuesday on the call, you know, let's do a little head count or maybe get to me ahead of time uh, that I've got one lead and, you know, give me kind of some statistics, he said, um, because he can't tell, you know, what happens after that lead is delivered into the rotation. So I said, I would start to ask people to send over some results, right? So create an ad budget. Again, deductible expense, right? Deductible expense, ad budget, wonderful thing. Um, and, you know, sharing that decision with everybody that you know, it's just, you know, you, it's hard to retreat. You know, I, I do this because it's, it's once you broadcast that out, it's like, hey, I'm going to open up a pizza parlor. Well, if you don't do it, they go, hey, what happened to that pizza parlor? Well, you know, I couldn't raise the money. You don't want to say that. You know, you'll do anything in order to do that. Um, and uh, so, um, again, um, it's just, it's all part of the process. You guys have all seen this. Um, you guys have all heard that phrase, you know, how do you eat an elephant, right? One bite at a time. Um, that was uh, Desmond Tutu. Right? He said, there's only one way to eat an elephant. It's one bite at a time. In other words, what he meant to say was that even an enormous goal can be achieved if you take little steps at a time, bit by bit, by bite by bite. You'll make possible at first what seemed impossible. So, you know, little tiny steps. And that's what this business is all about, except that, you know, people expect that they are going to eat the whole elephant all at one time, you know, and gag and choke on it. Uh, no, it's about making a little bit of money, having a little bit of success, and then being consistent and doing that over and over and over and over and over again. Like I said before, the challenge, 
uh, and this is the challenge, is accountability. You know, what did, and you've got to be accountable to yourself. <laughs> and I know that that is like putting the, you know, fox in the, ch in the chicken house, right? Or the hen <laughs> on the fox den or something. But, you know, you've got to, you've got to hold yourself accountable. How many people did you talk to today about Valentis? And if I were to ask that question to a lot of you, you would say none and none and none and none. And if you keep doing, you know, you can't be sporadic about this. You have to be consistent. You have to say, I'm going to talk to whatever that number is. I'm going to talk to three people a day. Start small so that you can accomplish that goal, right? I'm going to talk to three people a day about Valentis. I don't care who they are. I'm going to talk to somebody about, hey, I found a great way to make money from home. Are you interested in taking a look? Going to talk to three people a day. I know that if 90% of you set that goal over the course of a month, which is 30 days, okay, take out the weekends if you must, uh, or at least the Sundays, which there's four or five. Uh, now you got, let's say that you got 25 days, three a day, that's 75 people, right? Uh, it's like A.L. Williams. He taught his sales force to ask, you know, hey, would you like to buy some life insurance? What do most people say? Hell no. I got all the life insurance that, that I can, I, I'm life insurance poor. But every so often, about the second or third person out of 100 would say, well, you know what? I've been thinking about life insurance. Yeah, we ought to sit down and talk. And that was their whole presentation, right? That was, that was their whole presentation. So um, it's the same way with us. Hey, I found a great network, Mark. I found the best business opportunity on the planet. Are you interested in taking a look? No. Okay, great. Move on, you know, and on and on. But imagine for a second, what if all of us um, had, you know, 75 people that we talked to on a monthly basis? Now you multiply that out toward, you know, a year. I'm not real good at math, but that's a lot of people, right? That's, that's probably a thousand people. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and then you start to multiply that by, you know, your team. All of a sudden, it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So um, hold yourself accountable. Uh, so if you don't do it, nobody else will. I mean, I can't hold you accountable. Um, and so you got to do it. Here's one way of, I don't know if, everybody, and I hope Cheryl doesn't mind, I know she doesn't, uh, doesn't mind me putting this up. This is in your back office, you know, Mitch does a, a great job at going through the back office. Um, there's, there's one report up there called the uh, enroller report. Now, if you log on to your genealogy, and up at the top, it says view options, and you, you, there's a little pull down menu there and it says enroller report. And if you pull that down, you're gonna be amazed at what you find. Now, obviously, if you don't have, if you've never enrolled anybody, you won't have any enroller report. But if you have, you'll start to see things. And, um, you know, I could spend the whole time just talking about this, but what it does it very quickly gives you a snapshot. So I took a snapshot of Cheryl's, um, in, just now in that enroller report, you can adjust the levels, right? So I put it on two. So I just wanted to see her personals um, and you can move it to three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, um, so I just wanted to look at her personal. So, what it shows you is you see everybody who's on now, it didn't show hers, but I know she's on auto ship. She shows up on, on my enroller report as, you know, with an auto ship, but you can see the auto ship date. You can see when it's going to happen next, right? 725, 720, 
74, 725, 705, 710, 72, 720, so on and so on and so on. Uh, and the enroller report is really um, a great tool because you can change it from this month to next month. Now remember, what we do in July qualifies us for uh, August, right? Everything we do in July. So what I do is I look, if you look at this month's report, it's what actually happened last month. Um, and I know that's a little confusing, but um, if you look at next month's report, you'll see uh, people who haven't placed uh, an order. It's very easy to look at that enroller report. And if I want to look at, if I want to look at Kathy Martin and her team, or just her, you know, I can click on, you know, I can click on her name. It's it's underlined. I can click on her, and it'll bring her up to the top, and I can look at her entire, just her front line, you know, people she's personally enrolled, or I can look at uh, her organization down through six levels. Get used to using this tool. It's a fantastic tool. I utilize it all the time. So it gives me an instant picture of what's going on in somebody's business. Uh, and it also gives me stats, right? It gives me stats uh, as to how many people they personally enrolled and how many they've enrolled this month and how many the entire team has enrolled this month. So if you ever wanna just look at, you know, those kind of things, um, go and look. It, it's, a, it's a great, great tool. So this is the, you know, this is how you eat that elephant, right? That elephant, if you wanna get to diamond, it takes 15,000 in volume on both legs. 15,000 in volume on both legs. Now, the, your enroller leg, um, as opposed to your power line leg, your enroller leg, you can use 90% of the volume furnished by your upline in that enroller leg. You can use that uh, as part of your qualification. Now, the leg still has to be 15,000, but um, you can use 90% of that, or in this case, you know, all you're responsible for is 10%. So you have to have some enroller volume in that enroller leg. That's what keeps that enroller leg growing. So, um, and again, if that's confusing, get with me. We'll go to your report. We'll explain it uh, in detail. So, um, you know, and, and the way that you eat this elephant is that you go to your people, in this case, Cheryl, hey, Trace, what's your goal, you know, for your organization this month? He says, well, you know, based on, you know, I should probably be able to do 2,000 in volume. Okay, great. Okay, I got you, got you down for two. And when do you do this? You do this at the beginning of the month, right? Or right now. Uh, I mean, we're only on the 11th day of the month. So, uh, you know, I can do 2,000 in volume. So you hold them accountable for 2,000 in volume. Let's go get the 2,000. You go to the next person. Hey, uh, Paul, wh what kind of volume do you think you can do this month? Hey, um, you know, I can do four. Okay, you're going to do four. Now, guess what? We just got six. We just got six of the 15, right? And we hadn't even got to all the rest of the people. So it's just a matter of taking it in small bites, whatever amount they say that they can produce, try to get a little bit more, right? Always try to get them to overproduce, um, you know, push it a little bit, uh, but at least you know that they're committed to doing a certain amount of volume again. So that's how you get to those numbers. Um, and you just, again, hold them accountable. Um, you know, I was going to tell that story about uh, Dell's person. You know, it's not about selling product. I mean, I thought it was, you know, 33 years ago, I failed miserably. Uh, yes, I sold some water filters and the people really appreciated them. Uh, but 
it wasn't a way to get rich. You know, it, it was a it was a tough road, right? So it's all about building a team and finding other people that want to build a team too. Somebody will sell some product along the way. We're not going to worry about that, right? We're going to just share the products. We're going to share the opportunity. We're going to continue to build and promote for events. We are promoters. That's all we ever do. You guys, you know, if you saw me during the course of a day, I'm always promoting. I'm always texting. I'm always doing something to promote, to promote, to promote, right? And, uh, you know, I just want people to go take a look at something. And I know that they're not going to take a look at something. They're not going to say, oh, hey, Chuck, text me, and I better stop everything what I'm, that I'm doing right now, and I better take a look at that right now. You know what they do is they hit delete. You know, they hit delete until I wear them out, and they go, you know what, I better take a look. You know, this guy is never going to quit. He's just going to keep hounding me and hounding me and hounding me, and uh, so I better take a look. And then when they look, they go, oh, geez, I didn't know it was this. I didn't know it was this. This is pretty cool. And so, you know, it takes that exposure, 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 exposure. You just have to be unmerciful, right? You have to continue to do it until they either look, they get in, or they die. One of those three choices, right? So, you know, you just, you know, there's some people that say, you know what, you got to take me off your list. I go, why? You know, why don't you just take a look? Okay, I'll take a look. So again, they're either buying your story or you're buying their story. So, you know, I can appreciate the fact that you want to take me on, you, you want me to take you off my list, but you know what? I thought we were friends. Somebody said that the other day to me, and, I, and that's what I said. I said, hey, I thought we were friends. You know, at least you owe me the courtesy of just going and spending two minutes. Two mi I just want you to look at this two minute video. And I sent the funnel over to him, right? I said, I just want, if you are not interested after that, then, you know, I'll take you out. He looked at the two minute video and he said, you know what? That's pretty interesting. And so now we're in a conversation. So it was just breaking through that ice. You know, these fundamentals have never changed. Let me talk to you about a growth engine. This growth engine that we have turned the key on, uh, this funnel is, will be, like John said, probably one of the most important components that we'll ever have in this business because it gives everybody a way of duplication, a very simple method of duplication. So that, that growth engine creates that duplication, which will create momentum, right? And that momentum uh, will go for a long, long, long period of time. I mean, I can see us, you know, doing voiceovers on that whole thing, put, you know, have John speaking in Spanish, have him speaking in Russian, have him speaking in, you know, Portuguese, have him speaking in whatever, because we can do that. I mean, that technology is all there. All we just do is just, you know, they take it, they record it, they clip it right on, and all of a sudden now, you know, you hear John up there, you know, uh, in Spanish, and you never knew he could speak Spanish. Uh, but, you know, all that's going to happen. Talent is not duplicatable, but systems are. That's why we do what we do, right? John's talent, Rick's talent, not duplicatable. But the systems that have been created utilizing their skill, their talent, their story, uh, you know, people say, well, I don't want to talk to anybody until I have a story. That's bull. That's bull. You've got stories. Use their story. Use my story. Use Marshall Silver's story. I mean, give me a break, right? We've got lots of stories. Look at all the stories. It's about, you know, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to anybody until I lose weight. Well, hey, that's a bunch of bull. We've got people. You know, it's going to happen. I don't know if you've got the discipline to, you know, push that pie away, to, you know, uh, do what is necessary in order for you to actually lose weight. 
some people just don't, you know, they're not wired that way. So no matter, you know, short of having a way to stitch up their mouth, there is no way that they're ever going to lose weight. Um, you know, it's just, it's just how they're wired. So, um, but you know, if they'll buy into that process that this thing was designed to create duplication, look, everybody can send that off to that warm market funnel. And that's what we're going to talk about here in a second uh, is the warm market funnel. Now, if you don't have the warm market funnel, you need to get it. You need to get it, right? Uh, we're giving it to all of those people that are rubies and above. Uh, so, you know, if, uh, if you've, for whatever reason, you've lost your ruby status, you didn't place an order, it got, you know, you didn't have a loyalty, per whatever, right? You know, we have the ability to get that reinstated. All you have to do is pick up the phone because your people don't know, you know, the people that have lost their status, guess what, are not on this Zoom. They're not hearing this. They're not listening to the recording. Uh, because I've been going for, you know, 48 minutes already, and they're not going to listen to 48 minutes, but they're going to listen to you. You're going to say, hey, guess what? I just heard that, you know, if you'll place a 100 BV order, that's as little as two products. Listen to me. That you can order two products, $59.95 each, plus shipping and handling, and spend less than $160. That is 100 BV. So two products will get you there. Uh, so you get the two product purchase, you go on a loyalty purchase for next month, then the next month, then the next month, again, two products or buy three products, spend a little bit more money, get a discount, right? And um, you go on, and then you can get that warm market funnel. If you just can't, then you've got the demo, you know, the tribedemo.com. So not as effective because you're not getting notifications and and uh, that brings me up to the point. These two systems, the, um, the funnel itself, and then this training all go hand in hand with, with each other. You know, if you haven't gone over here and watch this 25 minutes, you need to do that. You need to do that sooner than later. Uh, and I ask everybody to do it. I ask the people that are brand new, you know, to do this because, you know, they're going to hear in this training um, lots, lots of things. Uh, welcome to Tribe Funnels, um, Tribe Market. Engaging conversation. Those are the people that hit a home run. And with digital marketing with funnels, we can make that possible for everybody. And so that's why. I think it's so exciting. And as we've been talking about this, John, with the team, people have 20 names in or 10 names in every day. And so the, the critical thing is you're notified and you take action on this, John. So what would you – So it goes through all of the components of what this funnel actually does. So, you know, let everybody, you know, call the people in your organization, the people that haven't purchased a, a business builder pack. Call everybody and say, hey, you know what? We've got something you've got to take a look at and send them over to your funnel. Let them watch that first. You know, you got to kind of prep them, right? You, you know, it's only going to be a couple of minutes, uh, five minutes at the max. Uh, and so I want you to go, you know, watch John. That first video is only two minutes. And then download the book. You're going to get something of value. You're going to get 56 pages of network marketing in the new world, right? You're gonna get this book that will help you regardless of whether or not you do anything. It'll give you kind of a little vision of where everything is headed. And then go to the second video and watch that. Don't pre-enroll because you've already, you're already enrolled. So, you know, uh, avoid pre-enrolling like I see so, so, so many people do. They just can't, they just can't help themselves, right? They, they get there, they're all caught up in the excitement, and they pre-enroll again. And you know, I've seen some people pre-enroll two or three times. Uh, so it's, it's kind of, the team. What, what it's, kind of, it's kind of funny. So, 
And then all they got to do is click on yes. You know, somebody says, well, I watched the video, but I didn't know what to do next. I said, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's a big thing that says, yes, I want my Val tribe system. I'm ready to commit. So I said, did you see a big blue box? Yeah. I said, go back there and push on that big blue box. All right. And so when they did that, do at this of course, point. they, they went to the view that um, uh, had been on some of my uh, Zooms in the past. Um, that, that commitment agreement probably looks familiar, right? Um, because uh, we took the commitment agreement that I had, we changed a few words in it, but you know, it's now something that they commit to, right? They, they fill this out and this is being, you know, this is being sent in. Uh, they see right in here. And you, so you don't have to tell them uh, that, you know, I understand that this is my warm market funnel system, maybe uh, discontinued at any time if I fail to live up to my commitment. And we will, we will. Uh, we have the ability to, if they fall off a of bottle ship, we, you know, obviously we can terminate the, so we don't have to spend the money because it costs, it costs money to keep this whole thing operating. Um, in exchange for the warm market funnel at no cost, I commit to the following success formula for one year. I have placed an order for a business builder pack. So it's telling them right there in black and white, you don't have to say it, that they need to do that, right? Or a career pack and 100 BV, I'm changing that 100 BV, I'm putting it and place an order for a minimum of two products every month to remain qualified in the Valentis plan. So, um, you know, then I'll, um, uh, I'm committed to enroll one person each month for the next 12 months. Guess what? If they do that, they're going to be, they're going to be successful in spite of themselves. If they'll, if they'll just do that. And if they'll get their people to do that, I'll be a great student. I'll attend the zoom trainings and opportunity events. Right. Um, and so we're going to teach them to use the funnel. Now, you know, we, all we ask for is their email, their cell phone, and their username. And so we can interact uh, uh, our API with Valentis and we can then um, build them a funnel instantly. They'll get an email from us and it says, your funnel is all done, click here. And it's username.valtribe.com, right? So that is the funnel. This registration agreement, if you send out your personal, you have a personalized registration form also, which is your username dot valtribe dot com forward slash register. Now, when you send out your registration form, if they register, you'll get a text notification, right? If you send your warm market funnel out to a friend, um, somebody that you know, then they will, you'll get a, a text notification of that happening. Now, John is having um, your funnel put on your, on our app, right? And the sequence, you know, John and I are working on that sequence right now um, of things that have to take place. I know as well as you know that, you know, it's, it's small exposures that move a person from being pre-enrolled to finally, you know, getting a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger picture of what's going on. And, you know, there's a science to that. There's a methodology to that. And so we're incorporating that. And I'm, if we can't get it automated, which I'm hoping we can, um, if we can't get it automated, then it'll be on the app, right? So you'll have access to it. It'll say, do this next. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, right? And um, uh, so that'll be, we wanna try to make it as simple and as duplicatable um, and I use myself as an example. If, if I can figure out how to do it, 
then I figure pretty much everybody can figure out how to do it um, because I didn't grow up with this technology, <laughs> obviously. I grew up way before the, this technology was ever even thought about. Um, so here's what happens, you know, and this is all part of that sequence, right? That we take that pre-enrollee uh, who just has watched John's first video, downloaded the book, and then gone to the second video and says, oh, okay, you know, um, I like, you know, John uses the terminology downline. Um, I don't like the word downline. Uh, I like the word residual income. Um, you know, I'm going to show you how we can create a residual income for you uh, through our system, right? Building a downline, people don't understand that. Do they understand residual income? Yes. Uh, and we'll probably change that one of these days. But um, again, just a little slight. And you have to listen to things and hear things over and over and over again until you start picking things out that, you know, kind of, you know, might change the outcome. Uh, so we, we dump them on this page and this page, if, if you haven't, uh, oh, that's not live. Um, so um, uh, if you haven't watched that video, um, I can certainly get it to you. And, um, you know, but it has, it's the power line video without anything with Valentis attached to it, right? So we edited that video down. And so that's all that a pre-enrollee has seen. Now, what I'm asking uh, the programmers to do is to take uh, and as soon as they watch this little four minute video, then a big red button will show up kind of miraculously underneath that video that says, take the next step now. Take the next step now. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, people need to be told what to do. They've been told what to do their whole life. I mean, my wife still tells me what to do. You know, here's what I want you to say. Okay, honey. You know, and so, so I, I pay attention, right? And we're all taught to pay attention. Okay, this thing is flashing down here. Okay, take the next step now. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to push on the damn button. Uh, and so what that's going to do, it's going to take them and start transitioning them. It'll be John that'll pop up and say, hey, here I am again. Yep, it's me. It's John Arenza. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be your guide. I'm going to be your guide. So what we did, if I can get this done, we've taken them, we've taken that prospect from the power line. They're still there. Uh, but Valentis gave them back to us for a little while, right? So that we could take them through another funnel. And it's just, that's all we're doing is taking them through another funnel. And that funnel is kind of an exposure sequence. And it's uh, a funnel of various videos uh, to, again, start to build that rapport. But guess what happens? Every time that when, when your prospect, if this if this prospect was yours, you're in the rotation, and that was pre-enrolled in your organization, and they clicked on take the next step, guess what? The system would have just sent you a text message that said, John Smith, phone number, email, just took the next step. Oh, okay. So we can follow the progression, right? Um, and when they take the when they take the next step, we take them to, um, you know, clicks on the next step. Up pops John. He says, hey, uh, so what would you think about the power line? You know, awesome, right? You know, yeah, it's going to get better from here. Making money in network marketing is easy if you know how to do it. And my team and I know how to do it. Right? Let me explain the components that have to be in place in order for you to have massive success. John explains the five pillars. You know, once I'm done, uh, a link will pop up again and light up and it'll play a short video about the amazing company behind our success. So we've taken them, we've transitioned them from, and again, if I don't get the automation, we'll have this on the app. Um, we've taken it from John, John's going to film this, uh, to 
The next thing is the company video. They watch that five minute movie. And then guess what? Another big red button pops up and it says, hey, take the next step. This, this button won't work until they watch the whole company and up pops John again. And John says, hey, by now, I feel like we're old friends. That's why I'm sharing this next video with you, right? And I want them to start to build that connection, right? That, hey, these people are real people. This is just not some, you know, sales scam. These are real people. And so John plays them, you know, shows them this video. And if you haven't seen it, go to johnharenza.com and go watch it. That's John's website. Uh, go watch it. Well, we're turning down my street. This is the trailer park I lived in when I was a maintenance person at a potato chip factory. Here's my trailer coming up right here, this, this white and yellow one. There, that's where I used to live. Looks like they've kept it in pretty good shape. Hi, my name is John Haremza. This was my life prior to network marketing. I was welding, building, maintaining equipment, living in a trailer park. Let me share my life with you today. Okay, you get the idea. So we're making that we're making that connection again. Short three minutes, right? Um, and then that video finishes. John pops back up again. Hey, by now you know that we've got an awesome city system. We've got an awesome company. We've got awesome products. And now it's just a matter of you know. You know my life today. What's, what's next? This is probably the hardest thing for all of us and I'll include myself in that us, uh, the best way to get started, how we make money, you know? So why not have John do it? I mean, he does an excellent job, right? Why not have John do it? So, hey, let me, let me show you the best way to get started and why we do this. So you got option one, option two, and option three, uh, and all the benefits of each, and uh, that if you start with option two or three, you actually get this system for free, right? A two thousand dollar system at the bottom end, a two thousand dollar system. So people, um, and we designed it like this for a reason, uh, and that is that people ultimately always they never choose the bottom, they never choose the top, they always choose the middle, and so we designed it like that so that they choose, they, they make that choice. You know, and then he says, hey, that's it. No matter how, what you decide, I wish you the best. Uh, if you decide to join the team, the top members of the team, uh, one of the top members of the team had been assigned to you to work with you to help place your order and walk you through the back office. Make sure you act, ask about our mobile app and blah, 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 right? And so John's shooting all of those videos right now. So like I said, I don't wanna leave anything for chance. Uh, I want, you know, the su success sequence and exposure to be very um, without problems, right? Uh, and so the app, um, like I said, we might even have both. I mean, we might have it automated. We might have it on the app as well. We'll probably have it on, definitely have it on the app. Uh, so, um you know, and again, the app does all of those things. If you haven't downloaded the app, go get it. Start playing with it. Learn, you know, here's the Share Valentis app training. It's right on the app. You know, somebody says, well, how do I use the app? Duh. Uh, watch the training, right? And uh, everything is there. And so you just get more and more comfortable uh, the more you start using something. So download the app. It does the same notification. Um, the text notifications, um, you guys are going to see this hitting your phone the more you start utilizing your warm market funnel. But it says, hey, um, this guy just uh, pre-enrolled from you know, your warm market funnel and his phone number. Uh, Jack just downloaded the ebook. And so, you know, we're going to have a sequence of things uh, that will be up on the, up on the app. Uh, and again, little prompts for you uh, to say, okay, 
he just, uh, I just got a text from the system that said somebody just downloaded the ebook. Great, I'm supposed to send them a text, right? So whether you send this exact text or something like it, hello, my name is Chuck Hansen. I'm one of the team uh, members on John's team. I always go back and refer to John because they just watched his video. I was assigned to answer all your questions. First, let me thank you for downloading the ebook. Read it, it's awesome. Wondering why you didn't take John up on his offer. You know, well, you know, they, they might come back, what offer? You know, well, you know, go back to, uh, now I'm gonna send them to my funnel, right? I'm gonna send to my funnel because that's how I can keep track of them because I just, that, that person came up in my uh, notification. Um, so I'm gonna send it, download the book again so you can get to the second video and listen to, listen to John's offer. It's awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, text me back and I'll call you right back, you know. So we'll have these different, so here's an uh, ebook response. Uh, um, here's another ebook response from Warm Market. Here's a pre-enrollee from the co-op. Uh, here's a pre-enrollee, a notification from, or a kind of response from your, um, your Warm Market funnel. So kind of four different um, variations of uh, kind of the same message, but it's just the speed at which, you know, as soon as you get something, you need to respond, you know, and where are you going to respond to? Text. I mean, that's where people are, are looking. So um, let me kind of, um, I'm going to ask you to, to uh, do something today, uh, today, tomorrow, whenever you've got some time. Um, Marshall Silver um, is a, master at, um, at everything that he does. Um, and uh, we spent some, uh, Jeff and I spent some time with Marshall yesterday and we're moving uh, in a direction to get a couple of things accomplished um, that hopefully by the first of the week we'll have a, a, a good feeling. But if you haven't been over uh, and watched uh, Marshall's video, Nothing like a great cup of coffee to start the day. Hey, if you want more energy, you're in the right place at the right time. If you want the fat to melt off your body, you are in the right place at the right time. If you want to think clearer, you are in the right place at the right time. And if you want to make some great money while you do all of the above, you are certainly in the right place at the right time. I am here today to talk about my belly. And as you'll soon see, there was a lot to talk about. When my wife Erica got pregnant, Anyway, you can go up to silver.com, S-Y-L-V-E-R, silver.com, and look at Marshall's website and click on way, way less, and you'll see it right on his website. Um, and so watch the video. Um, there's also something I'm going to point you to uh, when you have time. This is a 90-minute training, and um, it really is, um, it really sets up, it was done at his house, his 17,000 square foot house in Las Vegas, um, you know, massive camera crew, um, 45 people in the foyer of the house, live audience, uh, and it's an evergreen webinar. And so what I mean by evergreen, it appears live, right? And people click on it and they register and they actually think it's live. I mean, they actually, and the whole interaction, it's like it's live and people are chatting and they're doing and they're, you know, uh, and so I want you to do that. Go there and register, watch it. It's, it's informational, it's educational, it's entertaining, um, and you'll be inspired. You know, let me just put it that way. You'll be inspired uh, after sitting through this because you're going to learn something you're going to learn something so it's m p 2 m it's uh um sorry what's that stand for uh million uh, yeah, m p 2 m right 
um, dot com forward slash webinar. And uh, oh, missing piece to millions. That's what it's. That's what that stands for. Missing piece to millions. Uh, so mp2m.com forward slash webinar. Take that down. Go over there when you have an opportunity, and you can stop it and start it. Watch part of it, and you know, go do something. Come back and you know, click it again and start again. Uh, and that's what's great about a uh, you know an evergreen webinar. Um, and um, but we're we're working on some things. Let me let me just say that you know behind the scenes, you know, we don't let any grass grow between our toes. Um, we're always constantly moving and looking at how we can optimize our contacts and help everybody do better with my son so, uh so go there Literally, i got go there and look uh i'm gonna leave you with this you gotta have the courage do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda? Do you have the courage? I'm, I'm going to drop something on you. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are God, then neutralize everything he put in you. Just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you've neutralized your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. For some of you, it took courage to come to this conference. It takes courage to get you outside of the bar. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're gonna talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there till the storms keep raging and the people get to talking and you stand there and say, I've come too far to turn around? I'm going to say something to you. It takes courage to be exceptional. It takes courage to be wise. It takes courage to be rich. It takes courage to be educated. It takes courage to be knowledgeable. Because the moment you do, but you, you don't talk like you, oh, you don't got, forgot where you came from. Look at you, talk to, it takes courage. And I'm just wondering, in this weak, watered-down, mediocre society that we live in today, in this reality TV world we live in today, I'm wondering if there's anybody left that's got the courage to say, after all I've been through, and all my ancestors have been through, and all my parents have been through, I didn't come through all of that just to fit in with normalcy. I have the courage to go after my dream. Is there a woman left in this Seal that's got some courage. So um, that's my inspiration. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything that we talked about today. I hope it was informational. I hope it was somewhat um, exciting. I hope it was, uh, um, you know, didn't bore you to tears. Um, but, but you know what, guys? You gotta, you know, you gotta become a student. You gotta become a student of this industry, you know, if you really want to make money. Uh, and you know, if you don't, you don't. You know, you don't have to. Um, I saw an opportunity back 33 years ago uh, that gave me and my family uh, the opportunity to live a lifestyle that we only once dreamt about. Um, 
And yes, we could have lived okay, um, but you know, making 200,000 a year or making 200,000 a month is a, a big, there's a big difference between, <laughs> it's still the same number, but it happens 12 times uh, the other way as opposed to one time. Uh, so, you know, it makes a huge difference uh, in what you can share with people, what you can help people with, what, you know, what you can donate, what, you know, um, so it just makes a huge difference. So if you want to get to that, you know, that transition, uh, then you've got to become a great student. You become a great student, you'll become a great teacher. And it's all about teaching people to teach people to teach, right? Teaching people to teach people to teach. And it's that duplication. Uh, and so um, I enjoyed it. Uh, we went a, a little longer than normal, but I never apologize for uh, anything that I do. And so uh, we, uh, we, I hope that you got a lot out of it. So with that, hey, have a great day, whatever it is you're going to do for the rest of the day. Hopefully you're going to invest some time into watching that, that video, the training video up on the valtribe.com forward slash register uh, and watch that and, uh, you know, get a feeling for everything. Get, get comfortable with everything. Talk to your organization. Make those phone calls. Let them know that, hey, place a 100 BV order. Let's get you reinstated as Ruby. Let's get your warm market funnel. Let's get that puppy out to everybody that you know and start, you know, taking them through the process letting them download the book, letting them get pre-enrolled and start some excitement. This is the time of the year to do that. Yes, it's the, let me, it's the toughest time of the year to build. Even with the pandemic, there's, you know, people still have a lot of stuff going on and it's summertime, right? And so you just have to contend with it. But those people that will withstand and do what is necessary, we'll see their business, you know, grow by leaps and bounds. Let me leave you with the, mark this on your calendar, Sunday, July the 19th, Sunday, July the 19th, that we will have an event starting at nine o'clock in the morning, central time, that, that uh, code will come out to you, um, and it'll be the company's uh, presentation, and they're going from nine to four, right? Nine to four. So um, I don't know what's going to be. Uh, they don't tell me anything. They, you know, treat me like a mushroom, uh, but that's okay. And you know what a mushroom, right? You know, mushroom grows in the dark and they mostly grow in cow manure. Uh, so, so, <laughs> so put that on your calendar and go and uh, mark that down. Uh, and I don't know if they're going to record it or not. Who knows? I'll be there watching it. Have a home party. Bring some people over. You know, have them over for breakfast. Have them over for lunch. Have some over for brunch. You know, just keep bringing new people over and let them see a little bit. Let them wear their mask or something, you know, um, and they won't eat so much. Uh, so, with that, guys, God bless everybody. Thanks for joining me here today. And uh, we'll get this recording out to everybody so that you'll have it available. So with that, I'm going to end this puppy and we're going to go do what we need to do. God bless you.